What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and where the hell did I go to? I thought I was supposed to go over there. Um I'm in the deep darkness, or as what they so called. And in the last episode we discovered that Brick Road became a dungeon man. I don't know what the hell Dr. Endonuts was cooking. But he was like, you know what, we, we should make Brick Road like an actual fucking dungeon. Like, one that can move, walk, and talk, and whatnot. Anyways, as I mentioned before, we are here trapped in the deep darkness. And this looks very deep, this looks very dark, this looks very scary. Which is why I wanted to put it off until this episode. I also did a little bit of spring cleaning. I was told specifically that... The piggy nose is like crucial here in the deep darkness because apparently you'll be able to sniff out where some of these magic truffles are. And I also just got rid of a shit ton of uh, food for Paula because I need the space. Because Jeff and Ness, well they don't really have that much, that big a space. Especially with my boy Jeff here, he's stacked, he got multi bottles for days. Whereas Paula doesn't really need anything. By the way, I also switched out the flame pendant for the rain pendant, flame for flame for rain, because I think it's more useful that Paula is again is is able to defend herself against freeze attacks rather than fire attacks. I ended up sticking with the crystal charm for Ness because, as I mentioned before last episode, the speed is actually pretty crucial here, and I don't want to give up. I don't want to give it away that easily, that quickly. I want to become a pig. If I become a pig, I can find the mushrooms called magic truffles. They're located in the swamp and can be found by scent. No, a pig's nose would be enough to find those these great truffles by scent alone. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get uh, the pig's nose is because you could apparently get magic truffles, and these babies are like gives you like 80 psi points, so it's gonna be absolutely beneficial for me in the long run. This is the deep darkness. When you walk through the swamp, you endanger your health. You can't help it. That's why it's called the deep darkness. It's really dark here in the deep darkness, isn't it? It's pretty creepy, don't you think? If you don't have the Hawkeye, you're helpless. Speaking of which, I still have no clue what the Hawkeye does. I just kind of have it in my inventory. I didn't want to give it away to Escargo Express because, well, I'm pretty sure it's useful. Hi, how are you? I'm not a bad guy. I came from one of the world's largest economic powers to this small rural village. A businessman that is truly tough has to travel this far for the best opportunities. And I'm a tough businessman, yes sir! I'm also a representative of the doctor over there. A, do you want to buy? B, do you want to heal? Uh, A. Needless to say, this is a rural village. <laughs> we have four items. How may I help you? You call this poor items? All these items are pretty stacked, not gonna lie. Hey, at least I could get more beef jerky over here if I wanted to, and I guess I could get more balls of DX water again if I wanted to. But since Pooh's not here, there's no real reason for me to get them anyways. I heard monkeys living in some desert can teleport. Oh, you learn how to teleport from the monkeys? I wanna try. Will you tell me how to do it? Sure, where's the harm in that? Okay, I'll try it. Close enough. I'll never give up. I want to try again. Well, that was easier than I expected. I did it! Did you see me? That's awesome! Here's a small gift to thank you. Monkey's love. You have the monkey's love. I do have the monkey's love. What does monkey's love do anyways? Sounds awful. A gift from a monkey, it can be used during battle. Uh, first person I see is gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Alright, what do you got here, chief? Why, why'd you go in the swamp? What do you got? What do you got? Got multi bottles, multi bottles. Also, I swear I didn't. I don't. I don't remember seeing uh, the. Where it says multi bottles can only go to Jeff. Never seen that happen. 
Anyways, let's use this pig sauce. Ruffle doesn't seem to be around here. Fuck me. What do you mean the truffle doesn't seem to be around here? Gotta be. I don't want to be stuck here. Must be a little further up and left. Shit. Shit. Here? Uh. Yeah. Must be a little further down and left. God. I'm I'm killing myself just by doing this. Oh, is it over here? Be a little further up and right. Is it over here? Hello? Must be right here. Hey, there's a magic truffle at your feet. Oh, there we go. Uh, I was told that I could use teleport. That's an easy way to get out of here. Maybe not that easy. I don't want to use a bunch of my PSI right away. Oh no. Well, I'm not so upset that I'm getting burned over here because at the very least I'm out of what seems to be the deep dark swamp. I honestly could just use that technique just to go throughout the entirety of the swamp, but it's gonna be a little bit wasteful, don't it? There's a banana! Cool! I used a hot guy. There we go. I was wondering when the hell I can use it. Also, what the fuck is that? Shh! Be quiet! I look very important, but I'm not really. I'm a cash dispenser man. If you want to withdraw cash, I'll charge you a handling fee. Which is the same amount as your withdrawal? No! <laughs> Hell no! Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to withdraw money and then give you the same amount of money that I withdraw just to pay you back? I don't know how much health I'm losing. How much health have I already lost? Uh, doesn't seem too bad? It would honestly be a lot worse. Maybe I'm just overreacting this a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Do we- can we do a little bit more... Magic truffling search. I ate the magic truffle instead, fuck. I mean, I meant to use this. Truffle doesn't seem to be around here, fuck me. Don't tell me that I can only find the truffles in like the like the bad parts of the swamp. Because I would hate that. I would genuinely hate that. I guess if I find a truffle, I will tell you guys. But other than that, it's just basically going to be me being like, Hmm, what's over here? And then seeing nothing. If you look at that, we got a big old crocodile. Big old crocodile over there. I feel like you can beat the shit out of him. A hard crocodile. Okay, never mind. The fact that they say it's a hard crocodile already scares me. How hard of a crocodile are we talking about? On a load of PSI fire. I don't feel like using PSI fire. Instead, I feel like using this bazooka. I guess I could do that as well. That is what I like to see. And that's massive HP there as well. Damn, I really cannot believe that I am at my level 60s right now. I feel like I've gone through this entire... I feel like I've grinded this game just a little too much, if you ask me. But like I said, I remember I remember being in um, Earthbound Beginnings and then... Fuck me, there's... I ended, I ended that with like... I was, I was like, what, level 40 or something? A little further up. Look at this. Hey, would you look at that? Yeah, no, I was like, barely entering the 40s when I finished that game, and then, look at me here, I, I'm a, uh, I feel like I'm about to reach level 70 soon. Even though I still have a long ways to go, but Ness is be quite the old man. 
Not as old, not as old as a man of me. Every time this guy gets over here, feel like I age five years with how long this man takes. Here's what we got over here, little birdie. What? Village tendas comes nobody. Far, it's because no clue. Ah, no clue what that meant. It is pretty late once again. Not. That once again, I'm doing a late night recording, however, I do have a little bit more energy this time. And not only that, but I, I am a little scared that the neighbors outside, outdoors of me, are gonna make some sort of ruckus during my, um, recording. So I hope that doesn't happen, because they're always loud as fuck. Anyways, we got ourselves an IQ capsule. You know what we gotta do? We gotta give it to my boy Jeff. My boy Jeff's getting smarter each and every single time. My boy is like Einstein at this point in time. This, look at that IQ, look at that IQ, 56. My man is gonna get a better score on the ACT than I did. And mind you, I was I was one of two of only people in my entire grade level who got above a 30 on the ACT. Actually, I got a 30, flat. <laughs> what the hell do our... Okay, so I see a little bug sprite on the top left. There's this giant fucking starfish or some weird bullshit like that. Not to mention there's a helicopter. Alright, so I guess I'm finding the bugs first. Pitbull slug. Alright, my boy Jeff. What can you tell us about these pitbulls? Well, they die immediately just like that. So I guess I don't have to worry about them. Never mind, Jeff. I guess you're not <laughs> needed here in this situation. Okay, I'm gonna get behind it. Behind it. Ooh, let's go, baby! <laughs> and I didn't even need to, to fight him. It was just an auto fight right then and there. It's completely broken. Thought I could fix it, but on re examination, I noticed that there's no engine. Yellow airplane. Yellow submarine. This be the work of either Brick Road or Dr. Andonuts. Hmm. I wouldn't be able to tell you. That's just a conspiracy and a half right there. What do we have here? The manly fish and the even slimier little pile. I think it is in my best interest to remove this little pile as quickly as humanly possible. Wow, these guys are so underwhelming. 21 damage! Are you joking me? There's supposed to be a manly fish over here, and yet I can show way more man than you. Also, did I read it correctly? 10,000? 10,000 10, experience points? Uh, damn, this is gonna be a treat for me and a half just to level up in here. Even though that is still a lot of XP that I need to get in order to level up. Whatever. What? Is that... Is that Master Belch? Big pile of puke. Okay. I swear that I looked like Master Belch for a minute. I was almost scared shitless. I really hope I don't see that asshole Master Belch again. Because of shit like this. And also, Jeff? Hello? How- why are you crying? Why are you crying, my G? Oh fuck, which one does healing alpha do? Which one am I supposed to use? Is it healing beta? Okay, it's healing beta. Uh, let's use it on Jeff. No point in me trying to not use ESI or whatnot. Just need to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. Oh, would you look at that? I didn't even need to use healing. Oh, wait a minute. Ness, you fuck. You have... How much speed do you have? How much speed do you have? You have 42 speed compared to Jeff's 31 and he still managed to attack before you did. Really? Uh, 
They're around here somewhere, but you can't pinpoint the exact location? The fuck do you mean I can't pinpoint the exact location? Be a little further up. Oh, so I gotta, like, be in the actual fucking swamp to do so. Would you look at that? I got lucky once again. Well, I guess I couldn't hide away from the starfish looking thing for too long. I'll fight him. I'll see what you do. Demonic Petunia. You do not look like a Petunia at all. I'm just saying, Chief. And I'm surprised that Smash Attack just didn't destroy you right away. Like, for real, 400 damage and you didn't die right away? God damn. Holly, you got guts, but I don't think you're the person who needs to have the guts. I think it's supposed to be Ness. But what is this souvenir coin? What do we do here? Must be equipped as other. Increases your defense and luck. Hmm. How much defense are we talking about? Quite a lot of defense. But I think this is more suited for Ness. And I only say that because, well... I, he doesn't have one of the pendants like Jeff and Paula do, so he's lacking a little bit of defense already, so I'm gonna give this to Ness. But first I need to clear out all this crap from my inventory. That's what I like to see, that's what I like to see, that's quite a lot of defense. Ness is a truck. Look at that luck! 77! Way more luckier than that Apollo's. Even Jeff. Only luck could be factored in with the guts to like, you know, for smash attacks and whatnot. That would be dope as hell. And we have another one of these guys over here. Uh, oh, fuck. I wanted to do a surprise attack, but... Well, I guess surprise attacks... Surprise attacks will have to do later. Will have to be later. Also, I forgot. I still have the monkey's love over here, and I said that I was going to use it on someone. So, might as well use it on this guy. Uh, ba 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 heavy bazooka, just throw everything at him. Oh, Ness, you're actually kidding me. Moment. The actual moment. I use something called the monkey's love. You're like, yeah, I'm thinking about my mom right now. I use it on him. But I can't be used. Fuck me, I guess. And I, there, there's no telephone nearby. So fuck. Oh my god, I was just getting out of here and all of a sudden these trees get over here. Hostile Elder Oak. Let me guess. Vulnerable to PSI fire. I guess I'm never gonna know it. Or oh, never mind, I guess I just didn't die right away. Yep, exactly what I said. <laughs> Ooh. Everyone else was doing minor numbers and then you go over here being being all big dick energy being like, yeah, you know what? 100 damage to both Jeff and Paula. Fucking big dick over here. Thinking you get the better of me. Well, jokes on you, buddy. I have a heavy bazooka. So you're about to get your fucking world rocked. Well, actually, I'm not using PSI rocking, but you get the idea. Can we please stop hammering Jeff? I think he's gonna die. I'm just gonna do this. Please heal him. Yes, thank you very much. I wanted him at the very least healed before he dies. God, what is it with these oaks and bursting into flames? Like, these assholes are made of carbon and... <laughs> well, I guess I'm made of carbon, but... These guys, these guys are trees! They're vulnerable to fire! What's the logic in him bursting into flames? Somebody please explain that to me. Alert! Paula's condition is critical. She will collapse if her treatment. Oh, that's right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh, life up to Paula. Thank you very much. 
Now I have to traverse through this very slow. Uh, uh. I'm just gonna sauce up everyone right here, right now. Because I do not like that big giant thing over there. I do not like this Master Belch look like motherfucker. Never will, never have. You may have forgotten, but... He's a Belch. Belch has trained more and has returned stronger. Belch has also changed his name to Puke. Oh, oh I just ate lunch, you ass! I just ate lunch. Alright, fuck this. Just throw everything at this ass. Do I want to use PSI Shield? <laughs> Omega. I use PSI Shield sig uh, Sigma right now because I have. Uh, these guys have shown to be not the greatest in terms of. The offense department. And he could not stop crying. That's what I like to see, baby. Uh, da, 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 uh, that's probably gonna be a healing right then and there. Also, it didn't say what he was against, so I'm not a big fan of that. Jeff. You know what to do. A big ol' multi-bottle rocket. No, 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 no! Please! Not Jeff! Not Jeff! Don't you dare do it to Jeff! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Pooh came down out of nowhere? Pooh uses new power. PSI Starstorm? Pooh, you fuck! Where did you come from? A Casey bat. What did Casey bat do? Ah, at least Pooh also came in and came over here to get his XP, his share of XP. You know what, Pooh? I'm not gonna ask what you have been doing, where you've been. I am just going to try to get the fuck out of here because I do not want to stay in this swamp any more longer. Thank you very much. What does this even do? PSI Starstorm. Well, I guess... I know it killed Belge, but I guess there's one way to find out. So fuck, the other guy is in there to get demolished. Well, it wasn't that bad. Could have been a lot more worse. I'll take it though, but 24? Wait, was it 24 or was it 22? Method of shaking out the stars. 24, it was 24, 24. I don't know if it's worth 24 PSI. Well, if it's to all enemies, I guess I can't complain because Ness has this god awful PSI Rockin Delta. Which does less for more. Who in their right mind thought that was a good idea to do? And would you look at that? We got ourselves another magic truffle. Totally been do totally ha I haven't been going around this entire swamp looking like an idiot trying to find these things. Totally not. Well, I'm here. I went through a whole lot of other shit. I realized that these petunias, like, if you don't deal with them right away, like, they kick your ass. I clearly underestimated in the offense apartment. But it's just like everything else that's happened in Earthbound so far. Everything hits like a truck, but nobody can deal- nobody can take the damage. They can- they can- they can deal the damage, but they can't take it. Who the fuck are you? We're shy. We're shy. Okay. 
guy, that's it. Problem here. Little trash can. There's a death ray. I'll have to figure that out for Jeff later. There's a phone. Weird junk. Casey bat. Can't help but swing this bat with all your might. There's a good chance that you may just whiff. <laughs> Hell no! Why would I want to do that? I already get triggered at when Ness can't fucking hit his own shots. Why would I? Like, that's good offense. Don't get me wrong, but no. Also, with all of these magic truffles, I have to give them Escargo Express. I just have to. How good is this death ray? It's pretty good. I'll take it. Anyways, let me just call up Escargo Express. Alright, what do we have around here? Hotel here. In the whole inn we have. Free stay? Free? I'll take it! I'll take anything that's free these days. Well, for the most part. This is quite the comfy hole that you have. Literally has nothing. Shy. We're all shy. Rumor, I heard a book to fix shyness. There is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. Dude, if there's a book that can help fix your shyness, I would very much appreciate that. Like, genuinely. Sometimes I could be a pretty shy motherfucker as well. Of course, me uploading these videos to the internet, having to listen to my voice while editing, and having the balls courage to upload this, knowing that there might be the scrutiny for some people out there and whatnot, and they may think, hey, you're not shy, but trust me when I say that. I know myself IRL, I can be a pretty shy person. Literally throughout the entirety of orientation for uh, when I was when I was at my college orientation, I did not speak a single word. And you would expect somebody like me, somebody who talks a lot, somebody who makes videos over here, and somebody who has a goddamn podcast, you'd expect me to be quite the talker. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm actually not that much of a talker IRL because I don't know a lot of these people. Again, I don't know a lot of you who are watching out there, but hey, I'm not directly talking to you. I'm not face to face. I'm just over here. This is a recording. <laughs> hot springs. Good all over. This looks like the hot springs from Saturn Valley. Is there going to be any sound cure or whatnot that tells me I'm resting well? Resting one, hot spring, Ilya. I will take that. Actually, who are you? Well, item shop here. Item shop. You're shy. Oh, you're kidding me. There's an item shop, but you're too shy to tell me what you're selling, what you're cooking. Alright, bucko. There's only one Tendo who's not shy. It's me, Bubby. You know what? There's something scary that comes from the underground. We covered up the hole. There are lots of dinosaurs there. I went there once, but I came right back because I was so surprised. There's a talking stone that talks a lot. You want to go and see? I understand. I'm not as strong as I look. I'm sorry. I guess I can't help you. The guy next to me is strong, but he lacks conversation skills. He needs to overcome his shyness first. Shy that we are. So, I came down here... For what again? Deep Darkness, Hawkeye. Wait a minute, where the fuck is the Hawkeye? Did I lose it? <laughs> did I lose it? When I used it, did I lose it? I'll take it, I guess? Because Escargo got fucking filled up again when I was putting away my magic truffles. You know what? That's something I need to say. Why the hell is, is Escargo Express always filled up or whatnot? Earlier today, before I was recording or whatnot, I had to sell all of my sudden guts pills because one, they're kind of useless for me to I just like pick up every single one of them. But two, because Escargo Express was all filled up. What the fuck? Also, what? Hello, it's been a while since we talked. This is Apple Kid. We're having beautiful weather here. I'm now at Dr. Andonuts's lab in Winters. Doctor doesn't seem to be around right now. But I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. Hey, 
Oh no! What are you doing to me? Who are you? Ness, I haven't talked with you in ages. This is Orange Kid. We're finally coming near to the end of our research on how to change a boiled egg back into a raw egg. By the way, Apple Kid is missing. He left here saying that he was going to see Dr. Andonuts in winter and he in winters and he never came back. I was ho hoping to borrow the book Overcoming Shyness from him, but suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read the book, so I'm not very good at talking. Sorry. I'm also working hard on my invention, so I'll help you understand. Say hello to your friends for me. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that Orange Kid, the most popular inventor in all of Tucson, is shy as well. You never know people these days, I swear. Also, uh, I do not want to deal with that bug right over there, so can you bugger off? Okay, I'm on this side of the screen, go away. Alright, I just gotta go back in and go back out for RNG. But that does not sound good, what Apple Kid was saying. That genuinely does not sound good, and I feel like I should go to Winters right away. Because I genuinely am a little concerned. If you say that, if you said that, what's over here? Tenda Village? Oh, okay. If, I don't know what, what, what went on in, in an Apple Kid's call, but the fact that he said that Dr. Ananuts ain't there, that's also a little concerning. Fuck me. Well, I found my way back over here. So, who are you? Jeff! Long time no see. You've gotten taller. Oh, I don't have time to chat right now. Tony's missing! I thought he was with you. He suddenly disappeared. He's usually very responsible and leaves a note at least. So you're telling me that Tony, Dr. Andonuts, and potentially the Apple Kid are missing? That is no bueno. No bueno at all. Whatsoever. Also, I just realized I wanted to buy the bottles of DX water. Ugh, poo. It can be a nightmare sometimes. I'll have to fix this inventory shit. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back here in Winters. Uh, I did, once again, I did a little bit of whatchamacallit. I did a little, not trolling, self storage management. There we go, storage management. And I also got some bottles of DX waters. I put them in Paula's inventory so I can give them poo. I got another multi ball rocket for Jeff. Yada yada yada. I sold a lot of stuff from S uh, to Escargo Express and whatnot. And I am on my way to Park. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by those guys and by Brick Road, motherfucker. I am on my way to. God damn it! I am on my way to try to save Apple Kid and Dr. Andonuts. Because God knows that both of those guys really need the help. Uh, do we have Apple Kid, a somewhat of a bit of a loser? I guess I can call him that. I mean, like, he still gives me useful shit and whatnot, but he is still somewhat of a loser. And then we have Dr. Andonuts, the man who believes that his work is more important than the child he literally gave life to. Hey, come on, my G. So can I please go? Thank you very much. Yes, God knows that those guys need as much assistance as possible. And I am here to provide said assistance as long as everybody, as long as everybody can get out of my goddamn way able to get there in no time with no hassle nothing like that clearly I didn't I did not need to use as much PSI as I did prior so did not mean to go up there but I might actually have to go down there because fucking hell 
At least we won. At least we won. I don't care. Yeah. Might have to go down there eventually because Apple Kid did say he was working on an eraser eraser. If I remember correctly, down there in that little hole, down there in Stonehenge, there is a metal eraser. Which is very unfortunate because I had a pencil eraser, but I didn't have an eraser eraser. Anyways, nobody's home except for this man over here. Booga booga! See curves, nothing, or nothing out of the ordinary. I've been waiting for you. My master Apple Kid has completed this eraser eraser machine. While he was calling you, he was kidnapped. He felt like this. He was there, but was helpless. Sorry about that. Anyway, take this machine. I have the eraser eraser. I'm assuming he erases erasers, does it not? Apple Kid's invention. It erases something that looks like an eraser. Might also be blocking that that might also be blocking your way. In that case, I know the best way to end off this episode. By going down here. By hearing this god awful noise once again. Feels like something is about to blow up, I swear to god. We are going to engage in minor acts of tomfoolery. The iron eraser statue disappeared. Be gone, eraser. I don't know where I'm actually gonna go down here. But the bed but the the, the, the good thing is that I just need to save them. I need to save Dr. Ananuts and I need to save Apple Kid. We gotta do that. Hello, who are you? The Star Man. Ah, yes. The classic. The man in, the man in gray. The main man himself, the Star Man. The guy who... The guy who literally... Died to Ninten in one hit, unironically, and he's dead. Use a sudden guts pill, but let me tell you, my G, it is not worth using that. Not worth using that at all. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I am gonna be going down here. There's less enemies. I'll take it. Can I please go in? And there's a prison. I'll take that as well. I'm very scared for what's about to come, but I know that I have the capability to destroy everyone who's in my path. And this is just in a big fucking circle, isn't it? I know that I have the opportunity to destroy, to demolish everyone who gets in my way, so I shouldn't be scared, I shouldn't be distraught. I need to have guts and my gut says go to the right right is right you can never never uh you get the saying you can never uh win uh the uh yeah and would you look at that my guts is right and you know what I'm taking this guts and buying a lottery ticket <laughs> The chances of my guts giving me even more guts. Parents, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have given it to somebody who actually needed it, like Pooh or... Yeah, maybe... Definitely Pooh. I probably should have given it to him. And also, these assholes are not going to leave me alone. So... No point in... No point in trying to delay the inevitable. I'm gonna have to fight these guys eventually, so it's better that I know what they're weak to now than never. That is not good. Please do not freeze me. Oh, let's go. Oh, what? I thought I thought Paula would have been immune. Come on, Paula. Why you gotta do that to me? Anyways, these guys are just like they're inferior counterparts just died of PSI fire and died in my hands very quickly 
the fact that I'm only fighting one of these guys and not the other one is very concerning. I don't want to go two fights back to back. Well, I might. <laughs> these fights might actually be a lot more quicker than I would imagine. This is of <laughs> smash attacks like that. You know what? Maybe maybe it is a good idea that for me to just give the. They give the guts capsule to somebody else. And also, would you look at that? That was 100% planned by me. Oh, 100%. Let's go, baby. Oh, come on. You couldn't die immediately as well? Ah, uh, whatever. I know you're kind. You are just going to fall over and not do jack shit. Just like that. Just like that. Get the hell out of here. Oh my god, that's a lot of star men. And more over here, what the fuck? I I I even forgot what their um uh what their I forgot if they even have a weakness. That's what I'm trying to say this entire time. Uh I guess I could use a star star right now if I really wanted to. Oh my god, they're just dying like flies. It's not so much like flies. What is what is he against? I guess he doesn't. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have a weakness. His weakness is that he uses sudden guts pills and thinks that they're gonna do something. But let me tell you what, buddy. I've used sudden guts pills before as well, and let me tell you, they don't do jack shit. And this XP, but this XP though, this XP is. I'll take it. I will not take that, however. That was very unfair. In fact, just because of that, I'm about to rock your world. Is it really necessary for me to rock their world? I don't want to be using as much PSI because I don't know what's coming. I could use Poo more because I actually have balls of water for him. Still. I think it might just be better for me just to use a regular bash and the heavy bazooka. This is not like these guys are doing any damage to me whatsoever. They're doing like at worst 50. Which is pretty bad if you ask me. That's just that's just one life up. That's just life up alpha right then and there. It's horrible. Alright, what do we got over here? And it's a couple of life noodles. They've kind of become redundant to me at this point in time. I kid you not, I was going through my Escargo Express earlier today, and that's the right one. I was going through Escargo Express to earlier today, and I had so many cup of life noodles. I've mentioned this before. And I ended up selling all of them because they were just not worth it. And also, why are we missing people? We aren't going to kill this guy if we keep missing our attacks. Do I want to stay down here for all of eternity and fight this guy for for who knows how long? No! I want this guy died, dead, died, whatever. I want him down. I want him out. Get out of my sight. But yeah, I sold all my cup of life noodles. That that's the life lesson for today. Hey, so you remember literally just last Last few seconds ago, I said that I didn't need this cup of life noodles. Well, I lied. I would very much like it if you could give it to me right now. I need to make a note in my mind that I need to get rid of these atomic fuck what not at the latest, despite the fact that they give HP, despite the fact that they heal up. These enemies, I do not want. I do not want it to just be like you dealt X amount of mortal damage to somebody, and then all of a sudden, while I'm fighting, they just die. All because, all because the fight didn't end right then and there. Also, I realized I probably should have used a heavy bazooka. Fuck me. Oh well. But that explains a lot, actually. That explains why I was able to get through. Tucson and the Happy Happy Village quite easily because every time I would fight one of these guys and it was like oh you did 
X, oh uh, wait, it was like the, the oak tree, there we go, the, the oak tree. It's like, oak tree did X amount of mortal damage to Jeff, this Ness or Paul or whatnot. And I was like, why didn't I die? It's because the battle ended, as soon as the battle ends, I stopped losing my health. That's an interesting discovery that I made. Unfortunately, what isn't interesting is the fact that this guy is still standing in my way. Been on guard? Well, you know what, buddy? You're dead. You should have done something. Should've, you should have. Should have tried better. What do we have here? Who is smoking what? And I am so glad I'm actually able to defeat these starmen right, right here, right now, without. Without having to go through this battle. Because I am actually getting tired of having to constantly go into the battle. Besides the Omega, would you look at that? I am getting tired of having to constantly go into these battle with these assholes because they don't know how to quit. Anyways, what do we got here? What do we got here? He thunderstruck for about 200 points of damage four separate times. May miss when there are a few enemy. God, why does PSI Thunder suck? I hate how PSI Thunder is so RNG pendant. Also, that is concerning. That is concerning to say the least. I feel like it might be in my best interest to freeze this guy. Maybe with PSI Freeze Delta. Just gonna have to not throw everything at them, but I'm just gonna have to tread lightly on this one. Because, oh my god, he has a psychic shield. Can I get a do over? Okay, because I have the power of time and space on my hands, I'm giving myself a do over. I don't care. Uh. It's in my best interest just to literally not do anything else but to throw everything at this Starman or whatnot. Because if I don't use it, if he doesn't die here, okay, I guess I use the shield killer for nothing. I guess that's I guess that's my plan of action. Just hit him. I don't know because Jeff, Jeff is the one with the shield killer, yet he's also the one with the lowest speed, so he obviously can't act on it first. In the battle, in the battle, in the battle, in the battle, in the battle. There we go. I don't want Jeff to die right away, but that is interesting to say the least. What do we have over here? I have a broken harmonica. Assuming that's gonna be for my boy Jeff. PSI Flash Omega. Interesting. What is PSI Flash Omega? Generates glorious rays that have a high probability of destroying all the enemies on the scene in a single strike? Are you telling me PSI Flash Omega is better than PSI Rocking Gamma? Yes, but I wouldn't know. Alright, you know what? I am going to leave it off here because my sources tell me that not only A, I need to go to sleep. B, there is something interesting around here. Something interesting that I can get with poo and whatnot. So I will leave it off with you guys. My name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Memento Moria and whatnot. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Also, enjoy the outro. Take care, everybody.